What's up guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another video. So if you watched my last video, I installed these LCA extensions. And if you follow me on Instagram, I recently posted on my story and stuff that I started to install one of the fenders. Uh, fitment isn't the greatest, but with all custom pieces for the most part, like you can see up here isn't the greatest. Comes down here, it doesn't have all like the holes. Uh, headlight around isn't too too bad. I had to rig up the bracket for the bumper. Uh, I had to shave this whole inner side. Kind of hard to tell right now. I had to shave all this down. Down by the door in this corner isn't the greatest either. But anytime when you buy any custom parts or anything like that, it's expected it wouldn't fit properly or even 100%. I want to say properly. But I got one side on so far. I still have to do the other side. I already have the other one already completely off, as you can see. Before I do anything about putting it on and cutting this inner fender liner so you can see. Don't want to mess it up. But you can see this is what this like inner fender looks like that I have to cut so then I can fender the lip. So I have to cut through here all the way down and I'll cut there. Um, probably cut this little bracket off because of one of my other fenders the OEM ones they like were all snagged up from dragging on the floor I'll probably sand down just a tad bit around this headlight not much though up here for this like pillar isn't the greatest this one's a lot better it feels like compared to the other one so you can kind of see how it's a little unleveled but before I put this one on, I'm going to sand down those pieces and then cut the fender liner just because I kind of already know what things I've did to this one already to get it to fit. So before I get to cutting, I wanted to show a little dilemma that I'm having. And you can see with the fender with one of the wheels on after I put the LCA extension and stuff, my camper plates up here are already maxed out and I'm still hitting on the bead a bit because when you put the LCA on down at the bottom, let me put my camera down real quick, kind of give an idea, but the LCA is here and you're stressed like this. When you push out the LCA, you still push out the strut as well. So what it is causing me to hit is right here. But for the most part, I bought extended LCA or camber plates. And so it will give me just enough of a finger gap just to push back to help it a bit. It's not going to be much. It's really not going to probably clear the bead. So I'm probably going to end up having to slot the strut. But I'm not too, too worried about it. So a little bit of slotting just to get it to fit. The other issue is, is with VSKFs, they're not high disc wheels for clearing uh, Brimbos or big brake kits. So the thing that kind of sucks is I recently just went and powder coated my brakes and they don't fit with these faces. So I might have to end up rebuilding the wheels to either get them to fit and go with a smaller lip so I can put a spacer behind it, which I really don't want to do and I really don't want to switch the wheel setup. So I'm kind of in a in a pickle for the most part, but just a small update, not too, too bad. Also too, from the last video, one of my ball joints were busted. I had to replace both the ball joints, as you can see. I didn't want to record it. No point to show something boring about changing some ball joints or anything. Wanted to show this before I start cutting. And this is the reason why I'm doing the fenders today so I can try to get this fitment down. Uh, and then later down the road, I'll worry about fixing the brakes or getting to that next step and figuring out what I'm gonna do. So I put on this long sleeve because I don't want carbon and fiberglass all into me. And then I'm gonna put these glasses on just so then I don't get nothing in my eyes because fiberglass and carbon into your skin or into your eyes or into your throat and stuff isn't the greatest and it doesn't feel that great. And then I'm gonna sit there and switch right now to this little sanding bit just so then I can get down those corners before I put the fenders on so I don't have to put it on and off and keep pulling it back and forth or whatever, try to do any other modifications after. Thank you. 
right. So I sanded her a little bit around right here for where like the trim piece for this mirror goes. Uh, sanded down by the pillar you can kind of see. It's not bad around the door area. I got down here for where like the side skirt is. Got a little bit. And I also did around this side, closer to the inner side of the fender, just to clean it up so it doesn't look too bad. And then there's also two, this is right here. There's a bracket for the headlight. My headlights have this bracket, this like little piece that comes out because there's a tab that leaves it open. But I shaved this off because on my one that I already put on, on the passenger side, the bracket isn't like smashed down and doesn't fit properly there so I just shaved this one off just to help with fitting it makes it a little bit easier I left all the tabs and stuff with the original holes that they are I don't want to slot none of them so I don't have to worry about moving it around or it moving on me so much so if there is any issues I can go back and fix any of those things but for the most part I just did what I did on the last one just to follow my footsteps in the sen uh, sort of sense so Hopefully with that, all those being sanded down, I'm going to test fit it right now. And then I can get to cutting this inner part of this fender. So I got the fender set on there. So I sanded down here to give it a little bit better fitment around the headlight. Because the other side is a lot thicker. But you can see it's not the greatest. It leaves a little bit of a gap here. Not too bad, but I don't have nothing bolted down. Everything is just placed on there just to held in place. But you can see a lot of the tabs and everything are in the holes. They just need a little bit of finessing and pushing just to get them to fit. But not bad. But for just sitting it on there and not having any bolts or any hardware in it at all, it fits pretty decently. At least this side for sure. But sand it down here to help the fitting for around this like side skirt area cleaned up just these cuts just some of this like loose material that was just hanging here here I fixed just so then there's a little bit better of a flushness from the pillars they're not perfect as you can see it doesn't like line up with the greatest but for the most part with anything custom like I said it's not too bad this other one I drilled a tiny hole for this like little bracket it's not necessary I probably won't do it for this side because this one isn't as bad but the only other thing that I'll probably have to end up doing is for the bracket on this other side. I can show you real fast. This bracket, I had to shave down the fitting for the like tabs or whatever that are right here to get it to fit. Because they sit way too high and the bracket wasn't wanting to clip in. So the way I had to do it is shave down these holes to get them to fit and then when I put it in there I just drilled them out big enough so I can put my own hardware in there to hold the bumpers or hold the tab for the bumper so I just got these and I just placed it in one on one on each side so now that I got this fender up I'm going to end up getting all the hardware and everything in and then I'm going to work on cutting this inner fender liner So I got everything cut now, as you can see. The cut's not the greatest because I'm gonna file it down or sand it down to get it to fit properly. But as you can see, hardware is all in, like I was saying, fitment, everything. Everything's pretty solid. No issues, no complaints or anything. It's not that, that hard to do, but it gets a lot of fiberglass and carbon fiber everywhere. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna sweep it up and clean up this like little work area that I'm working in.
me. Yep. So I kind of just fucked up a little bit and right there I nicked this on accident. Uh, I'm not too, too worried about it to be honest, but it's whatever. So now that I got most of this all sanded down and where I need it to, I'm probably going to have to pull this back off just so I can get a little bit more into this because it's kind of hard to see looking up into this and having all this fiber and stuff land into my face. All right, so I pulled the fender back off so I can clean up some of the, the grinding and shaving and stuff on the inner side of the fender wheel. But kind of dusty right now. But here's a closer look at that little nick that I did. But you can see it's not too bad. There's a little bit of a thickness like right around here, which isn't too bad. But I'll sand that down. I got pretty good on everything else. I'm just going to clean up some of these other little cuts and stuff. All right, so you can kind of see. Oops. Got it all smooth. Pretty good. I'm happy with it. So. All right, so I got the fender back on. I put the wheel on too, just so test fitting. Little nick. But as you can see, it's not too bad at the moment. It's just stuck right on the bead. This one seems like it's sunk in just a tad bit more than the other side, but I gotta still do the brackets. So I'm gonna get the brackets, do that, and then pretty much after that, that's pretty much it. I got the bracket off now. And so this is the bracket. Bracket goes. Right there. This one definitely is fitting better than the other side, so I might not have to even drill it out and put any of this uh, hardware into it to hold it, but you can see this clip isn't fully extended. Both those pieces have to be out, but it fits pretty well, so I'm probably not going to have to do any other modifications to it to get it to fit besides just shave this down just a tad bit just to get this part to fit. But. Other than that, it's probably only going to have to be the back piece of it. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so everything's on, brackets on, fenders cut, size this little nick, everything on this side compared to the other side. This one was definitely fitting a lot better and was a lot easier to cut and everything. The bracket on the other side, I had to use the hardware to get it to fit, so I had to drill out the holes. Nice that this one actually works, so then I don't have to do any extra bull crap. Sucks that I did this, but hey, I'm just happy that I got both of them on finally. After like six months to eight months, put down the hood so you can see the fitment. There's, it's not too bad of a gap. Another side's pretty good too. This one's definitely a little bit closer compared to the other side, but they're both on, both fitted. So I'm excited. Cool. Everything's all on, all good. Everything's all cut. After six months of having them, I'm happy to finally have them on. So. Shout out to CF Spec. That's where I got these carbon fiber fenders from. So I'll put the link in the description and I'll put it on screen. But if you don't follow me, follow me on Instagram. And I'm going to end the video here. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps a lot and it means a lot to me. So cool. Thank you guys. Peace out. Said it all before, I'ma say it all again Just to make you up